This is a real human skeleton. What we're looking at is the posterior surface of the sacrum. This is L5, L4, L3, and this is the coccyx. So let's take a look at some of the features we see here. If I separate the sacrum from the L5, on the sacrum, this represents superior articular process, and the smooth surface is the facet of that joint. This is the median sacral crest. This is the sacral canal. This is the sacral hiatus. These openings are the posterior sacral foramina. If we turn this over to look at the anterior surface, we're going to see anterior sacral foramina, transverse lines. In this, in this specimen, the bodies of the vertebrae appear rather smooth. Let's take a look at a human skeleton that shows many more signs of arthritis. In this skeleton, if you look at L5, you can see lots of bony spurs. There's much more roughness to the edge of the bodies of these vertebrae. In fact, if we look a little further superiorly, L5, L4, L3, L2, L1, this is T12. This is a compression fracture. This is probable evidence of osteoporosis. You see the body of this vertebrae is nowhere near as tall as it should be. It has compressed because of lack of mineral in the material of the bone.